Hey everybody, it's DJ Jer, and we're working on a event called the Pro Am Jam. On Saturday night, they have a live entertainment. This year, they're doing Third Eye Blind and Big and Rich, and we get to do all the ambient lighting and all the uh, the surrounding uh, to kind of create this cool atmosphere. They're doing a rock and roll theme, so um, we've got some tent lighting that we've got going on. We also have some tree lighting, which we're going to show you here after a bit, uh, kind of give you some idea on what we use. The the Colorado series is a phenomenal light, especially with the IP ratings of 65. They do a great job for being outdoors. Um, right now what I'm working on is they have this, this cool surprise going on for the tournament on Friday night. And we are actually programming some moving heads uh, to go on some totems with some ambient lighting and some, some energy. Um, we also have the RGB geysers, which are going to be creating a really cool effect over by the tee hole. So at 10 o'clock when it's dark, they have glow in the dark golf balls. They're actually going to be shooting from the tee a, or going for the hole, obviously, and uh, we're going to do some moving heads, and it's going to be pitch dark on the hole, except for the ambiance and the, the the lighting that we're creating. So one of the things that we do with the client is we'll meet them out at the facility, and we'll go through things, making sure we know exactly where they're expecting things, where they need lighting, um, where they want to pr create some design work, and things like that. So. Um, one of the things that we do is after that meeting, we basically put a floor plan together and we do this with facilities, we do this with everything. And basically we put all the details in place so that way when we walk in to the event or the setup for the event, we know exactly where everything goes, everything's in place, so we're not trying to guess what should go here, what should go there. Um, one of the things that we do is, like I said, if it's a facility, we actually have the layout of the facility and we lay out all the details throughout the room so we know exactly where stuff goes. Uh, for this big event that we have with Pro-Am Jam, we actually have a big outdoor event going on, uh, so we had to put things in certain places and so we created a map. And basically all we do is we, uh, we have a layout, uh, you can get that right off MapQuest, um, you can see the facility, and then we place all these letters and then the quantities for each one of these letters. And you can see we have the diagram down below that shows us exactly what's going in certain spots and what that, uh, what that letter represents. So this allows my staff to actually get everything in place so when we come in time to do the design work and actually do the setup, everything's right where we need to be and we don't have to run around all the play, all over the place trying to find everything. One of the things that we're setting up for is tonight they're actually having a 10 o'clock or basically midnight Okay, shootout. so we got our whole setup, basically uh, geysers, RGB geysers, and then on the back side we've got the core 3 by 3s and obviously when it's dark it's going to really light this all up. Um, below that we actually have some of the original Chave strobes. Um, this will basically be one of our grand finale type things when we get to the last round. We're going to hype up the mood a little bit by pumping out some, some strobes and uh, blast the music for them. So that's basically what we got here. Okay, so it's going to be a little hard to hear but we've got the generator running. We're over at hole one and we basically built this grid. So we've got the whole spot, when we click on whole spot, you'll be able to see what it does. Puts a spot on the hole, so that way when the golfers hit, they'll be able to know where they're hitting. Otherwise, we have just a regular move spot. Basically across the green, we've got some moving spots. And then we can do a bigger beam as well. So this will be going on when they're ready to hit. And as soon as they hit, or as soon as they're ready to hit, then we'll hit the whole spot. We can strobe it if we want. We got a bunch of sequences set up, and then with the grid, basically, if I need to go on the top left, I click on one by one, and it'll spot the top left of my green for me. I need to come over a little bit closer, a little closer, so I've got the whole entire green spot. So everywhere on the green, I've got it covered. And then when I'm done, all I got to do is unclick these spots. And then it goes back to the hole, and we're all set, ready to go for the next hitter. Okay.
so we just finished up and it went awesome. Uh, the company that basically had us uh, work on this with them, um, they were very thrilled and uh, they're ready for next year already. So um, basically, again, all we did was map out the green. So when the ball landed, we could post uh, spot exactly where the ball landed at. An update, what we've got done, we got all the tent lighting done. As you can see, basically, uh, we have it in rotating colors. That's the nice thing about the aluminum par cans that Achave originally came out with. Um, you could plug them all in and they would actually cycle through at the same exact pace as long as you had all the dip switches the same. So that's one of the things that we use our par cans for. They're lightweight, they clamp on really easy, and they don't put a lot of stress on the tent. So um, the other things, uh, you can see what we did with the... Moving heads, basically we have scanning logos. Right, so outside of the tent, we've got their logo, company logo. And then also we just have some moving textures to kind of create a really cool cool effect on top of the tent. Um, kind of give it a little variance with some color. And you can still see the moving scanning logos inside the tent as well. Um, here they have an auction tent. We just use some Chave color strips to light up in there. Ah!